Hello, my lovelies. Elsie here to do your sneak peek for the week. Happy Monday to you. I hope you had some uh, rest over the weekend for those of you who do the Monday to Friday. For some of you, today might be your Friday, depending on the, the kind of work you do. So I am here um, to do this reading. We do go from Aries to Pisces. Have no fear. I have time stamped everything down below and pinned it to the top of the comments. And please, if you are still watching tarot for just your sun sign, stop doing that. You're confused. You don't have the whole story. Go to my banner. It's at the top. There's a link there. I am not affiliated with that, that website, but it will give you all the information you need to come back and watch for your moon and your rising. Because you don't know what kind of Aries or Taurus or Gemini you are unless you know what the moon and rising sign says. All right. Here we go. We are going to start with Aries, and thank you for clicking here. If you are new, I hope you will stay. Once you see this high vibe and tribe, I know you're going to want to stay. People here really are here to learn about themselves. I hope you are too. And if you are my ride or die, thank you so much for um, hanging out with me yet again. I appreciate you. Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. We are starting with you, Aries. Thank you for ushering in the spring half-acidly here in Canada. <laughs> we ended up getting the snow back, but I'm going to blame it on Taurus because it came after the 20th. <laughs> here we go, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Your sneak peek for the week. Okay, well, you see that that um, fool has come out sideways here. I'm thinking that that's going to be your challenge, the new start. I feel as though there is a new start here. With someone that you feel more connected to than just someone you're attracted to or someone you might like, I feel like you are attracted to this person, but I also feel as though that you um, feel connected to them in some sort of way. I feel like there might be a, a soul connection here or a twin flame connection. So we see you, <coughs> excuse me. We see you uh, at the Two of Pentacles here. I feel like um, in the near past that you have been, you've been uh, probably financial, you've taken a financial hit of some sort. You could be um, um, hard with your pentacles right now. I feel like you, you're letting, it's kind of like you're showing everybody around you, man, it's good. It's not, it's no problem, right? When I see this card, it's like this guy is, performing for the crowd. He's trying to make it look like it doesn't bother him. And I say him because there is a masculine picture on that card and I'm a heterosexual, heterosexual female. So um, I do see um, in the two of pentacles, um, this could be feminine or masculine energy. I think it leans masculine for me, but ultimately what's going on here is you've lost your balance. You feel like your pentacles or your money situation is taken a hit, but you're not showing it you know, we're not showing it front facing here. You're not really showing anybody. You're just kind of kind of being the person like, no, it's okay. Look, yeah, the balls are in the air, but I'm going to be okay. What you're planning on, I feel, is to have some sort of a new start here with this person that you feel ultimately connected to. I feel like you want victory with this person um, this week because these sneak peeks, Aries, are for this week. I feel this week that you don't do want to have victory. I also feel like you want to go back home. I think it's been burdensome. And when I say going back home, it doesn't necessarily mean where you live right now or who you're with right now. For some of you, you're thinking about someone else that you want that feels like home. Yeah. I feel as though when you do come home, you have a soul tribe waiting for you. I also see that six and four is ten, which means this has been burdensome for you. You just want to drop these burdens and you want to be with this person. Have a new start, right? Have a new start with this person that uh, could very well be your person. Yeah, the one you feel the most connected to. The one you clicked here for, Aries, it's likely that person. Hmm. You're leaving a connection because you did all the heavy lifting there. Yeah. Aries, I feel like you you are about to or you have left a connection, um, a place where you did all the work and everyone kind of just looked on. I feel like um, 
that the communication with this person, whoever this card is for you, the Four of Wands, I feel like there's been no communication with that person. Because you've been so busy, um, you've been busy trying to make money, trying to uh, show everybody around you that all is well. I feel like with the Three of Pentacles that you do want a partnership with this person, but I think that in the past it's been very um, uneven. The workload has been very uneven, and I feel like you were the person who was, who was always the bringer of things, the entertainer, the person with the happy face. I feel like you're you know, forward facing to an audience or a membership or friends that you are putting on the face of, nah, it's fine. Yeah, I don't think it's fine. I feel like you're about to end it. I feel like you're about to end um, feeling as though you're doing it all. I feel like this connection right here is someone who is going to um, help carry the load. Whatever that is for you, if it's financial or a job or a business, I feel like this person is someone who really does want a partnership with you. And I feel like that's the reason why you're moving forward to that person this week. Um, that's for some of you. Remember, y'all, it is a general reading, right? We have the Six of Cups. I feel as though you are... Um, Mm, this is nostalgic love. This is someone that um, you've loved before, or it could be someone who's in your family, right? Um, uh, Twin Flames can be a family member, absolutely. And um, I feel as though even if it's a, a soulmate, it could be a family member for sure. But it doesn't have to be. It could definitely be love related. Um, I feel like for me, uh, the fool is Aries taking action. I feel like the fool is someone who is taking a risk, a risk on love. And I don't think you're used to that, Aries. You're kind of planned. Yeah, you are kind of planned. Um, I feel that there has uh, there is a third party that has ended and now it's time for the reunion. I feel like you walked away from someone you felt that could have been a soulmate or that was a soulmate. But just remember, y'all, we're going to meet soulmates, but we're going to meet karmic soulmates. We're going to meet broken soulmates. We're going to meet soulmates that are toxic. You know, not everybody's got their work done. And I have a feeling, Aries, that you may have... Um, you may have been one of those people. You had to walk away, I believe, because, yeah, there's a lot of silent treatment going on. I feel, though, um, that was with um, a person of your recent past. I feel like moving forward, before you do move forward to this reunion, I feel there is some healing that needs to go on. I also feel with the Four of Swords, to me, when someone's in healing with the Four of Swords, they're just not um, communicating with other people. So it could be very quiet. I feel like you don't feel like you're at home anymore where you are. So whatever box you're living in, the house, you feel like that's not home anymore. So I feel like Aries, it feels like you want to leave and go to somewhere else. Somewhere else you feel more at home. And uh, yeah, it is the end of the third party. So if there's some of you who are waiting for someone. Now, you know, sometimes these readings come up week after week, y'all, because we're not all on the same timeline, right? I could have been reading for another group of Aries last week, but now I'm reading for your group. It could be you. And I feel as though for someone that the third party has come to an end. And so now the reunion can help. We do have, or the reunion can happen. We do have two threes here. We also have two fours. I'm saying so because I don't commit those things to memory. Um, fours, I feel like they might mean that you're in the right place at the right time, like you're on the right path, but don't quote me on that. Please look it up. If you want to copy and paste it down below, you're going to help others. I can pin that to the top so we know what's going on. So I feel like this week, Aries, is the week that you are going to... Um, you are going to end a third party, so end something with another person so you can move forward to the person that you feel you are connected to um, uh, in spirit, in energy, fire energy. So you might be connecting with someone else who is also in their fire energy. All right, Taurus, here we go for you. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What is coming up for you, my Taurus brothers and sisters? If you haven't been here before, I am the Taurus Sun. That is just your personality, and I don't watch tarot just for my personality. I don't watch it a lot, but when I do, it's always for all three signs. 
All right, here we go, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What is coming up for you this week, Taurus? Taurus, what's coming up for you this week? I feel like my Taurus gang is kind of waiting on the edge. That's what I feel. I feel like you're waiting on the edge for something to go down. A new, a new start is what you're waiting for. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. We have the King of Pentacles. There you are. Thanks for coming to your reading, Taurus. <laughs> right there. And um, so we have the Queen of Cups who is in the reverse. And when she's in the reverse, she's kind of depleted. So I say she because there is a feminine uh, character on this card. But please know I'm reading um, energies here. Divine masculine, divine feminine. We're not reading meat suits. So this could be feminine or masculine energy. To me, this is predominantly feminine energy. But I feel there's someone here, Taurus. You are feeling depleted. I feel as though you're um, feeling too tired to balance the finances. I feel as though somebody may be watching you do that. Someone perhaps you used to work with doesn't have to be, but I feel like it, I feel like you are feeling out of sorts, Taurus. You're feeling like your money's being impacted right now. I'm seeing the Eight of Pentacles in reverse and um, the King of Pentacles. I feel like you continue to manifest, you continue to work, you continue to bring in as much finances as you can, but I feel like it, it always feels like it's not enough. Yeah. So just remember, it's not that you're not enough. The finances are not enough. But understand, there, there are ways for you to make more money, and it's right here. We have the, um, the Page of Swords, and... Um, the Page of Swords is about learning something, right? It's a, it's, it's a, the Page of Swords is learning, is watching, is digging up information. So I feel like you're missing something here. And you, um, yeah, Taurus, I feel like you, you really need to dig into something, something that, um, you know, or something that you want to learn, or something you already have a bit of knowledge about. This is a bit of knowledge, and it piques your interest, and that's what that sword is. Piques your interest to talk to someone about it. Um, I feel as though they're also uh, in this energy here is someone who wants to speak with you. Yeah, I feel like there is someone who um, wants to talk to you, who may be watching you in the distance. Um, this person may be watching you struggle. And uh, if you're the person who really doesn't care who sees you struggle because you're authentic with you, then I feel as though this person is also seeing you as being a bit depleted, maybe not working as much as usual. Could be someone who, who comes into your business. King of Pentacles is usually someone who's running a business, running the kingdom for sure. So it's all on them, right? That person, the King of Pentacles, is the one who eventually gets their footing in the finances area. This is the Midas touch, right? You seem to be able to bring um to bring um opportunities here that king holds that coin because he's manifesting opportunities and um we have the the ace of swords the five of cups and the hanged man so yeah i feel like you're wondering, trying to think, right? Trying to learn something new, thinking about what you can do to um, to stop all of this money bleeding here. I feel like there's something that's that's got your attention though, and it's not finances. I feel like there's something throwing you off the path, and I feel like it's something you have regret about. So you might be, there might be a situation that just has ended for you, or is hit a bump, a speed bump, an emotional speed bump. The Five of Cups is, you know, with this particular depiction, this person realizes and knows they're holding the two cups. They know there's love elsewhere, but I feel like the party is over. That's what I feel. I feel like if you were with someone now or in the near past, that that person was just into partying. Um, that person, and I say partying, like there, there may have been um, misuse of uh, certain types of stimulants, maybe. Um, yeah. You're trying to make a decision, Taurus. 
see one and two swords. You're trying to make a decision, but it, you, you're you dealing with some sort of a block here. It's got you in the hanged man energy where you're not really doing anything. I feel like you're trying to find a different perspective on this new thing that you've learned. And I also feel like you, you're kind of disappointed in the way that this last conversation went with the person who's been depleting you. I feel like there is going to be a new conversation coming at you. I don't know if you're ready for it right now because I think you're exhausted. You're not connected to self. I feel like the Queen and the Queen of Cups in the reverse is also telling me that maybe the conversation you had with the person who was the partier didn't go so well that it cut both of you. It was a conversation that sparked, but it really didn't go anywhere. Yeah, and ultimately you end up heartbroken here. So for some of you, someone else is on your mind that you're thinking about. This is third party energy. Some of you are um, in an energy of thinking of ending something with someone else um, because of this third party here. You know it's going to be hard. It's going to break your heart. The communication you had was harsh. Four of swords here. Three and one is four. Um, and we've got five, right? So we've got somebody who is trying to win at any cost. Taurus, I think it's you because you're so loyal. I feel as though you didn't want to let go of this relationship here because you're so loyal. I feel as though... Um, that you are thinking about a reunion with someone else, someone else who um, broke your heart in the past. I feel like you will be bringing this to a close, whatever that is. So some of you are going to be leaving a relationship this week or telling the other person, look, I'm done. I've learned my karmic lesson. Taurus, you were in a karmic connection. For some of you, it is karmic and you know it because it's hard. And it's where the place where you are supposed to learn a lot of things. But really what it's done is this. It's made you feel overwhelmed emotionally and made you put up the walls. But you're not telling anyone this thing has come to an end. You're also not telling anyone that it was hella toxic. But I'm telling you that once you, once you, once you do this, here comes communication and a new start. That's what's on the bottom of the deck, Taurus. Communication is on its way. This is something that you've been growing for a while. Seeds of intention that you've dropped along the way, hoping someone else would pick them up. Who's that person? All right, Taurus, I think you might be seeing that person or maybe this is the week that you just end the cycle, break the third party. You start thinking about what else you can do. I feel like... You wanted to win at any cost here, but it didn't work in your favor. No, whoever it was was taking advantage of your kindness and the fact that you were loyal. Woo, Taurus. Okay, Gemini, this is you. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is your sneak peek for the week, Gemini. Here we go. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Gemini, thank you for coming here and clicking here. If you are new, I hope you will stay. Yeah. Uh, once you see this high vibe and tribe, you're going to want to get in on it. I'm just saying everybody here is for a reason. They're here for a reason. That's because they understand that sometimes you just need to look a little deeper, right? So here we go, Gemini. If you are brand new, thank you for coming here and clicking here. If you're my ride or die, thank you so much. Here we go. Thanks for clicking here always. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. We've got the Three of Wands in the reverse. We've got the Seven of Swords in reverse. I mean, if you're going to have the Seven of Swords, it might as well be in the reverse. We've got the Three of Cups in reverse. Gemini, you're having a new start. You have dumped the third party. Yep, it's time to tell the truth. It's time to speak aloud about the things that you've endured. You have not felt like you were home for a very long time. I think you know what that feeling is and where that place is, but you're not there. Nope, that's not where you are right now. I feel like the, the person or the place that you feel is home is a place you're, you were disconnected from or silent about for a very long time. And I feel like you were beginning to lose hope that this was ever going to come to fruition. You have had someone in your life who... Um, is probably prominent in your life. This person is someone who, is, who has uh, stabbed you in the back, who's betrayed you. The truth is you do want to go home and you've wanted to go home for a while. 
I feel like home is a place where you are going to live probably by yourself. I feel as though um, the truth is coming out about a third party. Now, I said this before. It may have been in another sign, but I think it was you, Gemini, that I feel like someone's been cheating on you. I think you figured it out. The truth came to the surface, and it's caused you to take this Page of Pentacles approach here. I feel as though it's time for you to move forward in this material world. I feel like you have an opportunity for someone and you're moving forward into the future. It might be the opportunity that you're holding is for you, but I feel as though whatever you've been dreaming in the 5D, you're now wanting to breathe energy into in this, um, in this uh, 3D world. We have um, the King of Pentacles, sorry, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Page of Cups in reverse. We have the Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel, Gemini, that you're, you're in a place that doesn't feel like home, but you can't go. You need to get something accomplished first. The reason that you're leaving this situation is because this person has presented with unrequited love. They don't love you anymore, or you don't love them. Take that as it resonates. I feel like with the Six of Swords, this was a karmic relationship because I see that the lessons are learned and you're ready to go. You're taking those lessons with you. I feel as though those are the lessons that um, you learned in order to move forward. So you, this is a thing you had to come through in order to move forward. Now, we have the Knight of Pentacles. You are thinking about giving an offer to someone, but you can't. You're, you're dead stopped in your tracks here, and this whole thing has been coming together for years. I think this is the catalyst, the page of cups in the reverse. I feel like the children could no longer um, endure whatever was going on in the home. I feel like the children may have seen one or both of you cheat on the other one. Um, and I feel as though you feel terrible about that, but you can't go right now. Yeah. That's this week. <clears throat> Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So this opportunity has stopped, and I feel like it's stopped at many, many times. You can't go home. I feel like there is someone you want victory with, but you can't have that victory right now. It's someone you feel you may have a contract with. I feel like um, you want to, you want to go on this, this new path here. This new path, you're waiting at the crossroads. You're tied to something. You can see one foot, one hand is tied there. I feel that you're trying to do whatever you can to keep yourself busy or happy. Um, whilst you're waiting for uh, things to move forward here because it feels like you're in really stuck energy, Gemini. Um, I feel as though there is a um, an energy here. It could be yours. doesn't have to be, but it could be an energy of another. King of Wands is in the reverse. I feel like you really want to go and you're not happy about it. I feel like with whomever you are having to share a home with right now, things are not good. I feel like you're the king on his head. Yeah, I feel like you're wor working from ego, angry with this person, or flip it as it resonates, angry with you. You're angry with this person with this unrequited love situation because I feel that you thought it was going to last longer than it did. You feel like you've missed an opportunity, though, and I think that's what frustrates you the most because you can't move and you have this new this new opportunity in your hand. I feel it's this same pentacle right here. This pentacle, this knight of pentacles is in the reverse and has been dead stopped for a while. I feel like this is the end game. This is what you're trying to get to this week. I feel like you feel you've lost an opportunity with someone in a love contract. Yeah, so I feel like that's what you're working on this week. You're trying to get out of this because it's a lot of negative energy. Secrets coming to the surface. Now I know that they were cheating on me or you were cheating on them. They know it now. Page of cups in the reverse. Unrequited love. Things are taking too long. You feel like things are taking too long because this is all at a standstill. But I feel like... Um, 
that you only have to be in this frustrated, ego-driven, angry sort of energy for not very much longer. Maybe four months could be, for me, cups or months, but it also could be another year. So for some of you, like I said, we're all on different timelines, right? You need to speak up to someone or someone needs to speak up to you. This could be you. Ah, but I think it's the person you're walking away from because I see that person as the divorcee. And we have the Eight of Cups, but look, when you walk away, stuff works. Yep, starts to move in your favor. Once you finally end the connection here uh, this week, I feel like things begin to move in your favor. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. This is your sneak peek for the week. Welcome, Cancer. If you are new, I hope you'll stay. Let's take a look at uh, energy, general energy, coming up this week for you, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay. We've got that one flipped out. All right. Six of Swords is in the reverse, Cancer. Feel like you're losing ground. Feel like you're not going anywhere. Feel sort of stuck in your head, Cancer. I feel as though you um, are in a period of no growth. Like you feel like you're not growing. Um, and I think you're right. I feel like you're okay where you are. I feel like you're coasting. That's the coasting card. Yeah. When the sun comes up in reverse, the sun still shines. But you're not really growing, right? Not physically well, for some of you, it'll be physically, but mentally, um, spiritually, in your job, I feel like there's no growth here right now because you're here, you're stuck in your head, which makes sense to me for cancer. Cancer, you spend way too much time in the crab shell thinking things over. I feel as though there is something that you have a knowing about. I think you feel it, cancer, because of this... Um, this high priestess. For those of you, Cancer, you know you're highly intuitive, some of you psychic, and I think you know that better days are coming. Things are starting to move forward slowly, and I feel as though you have a knowing, even though you've been stuck up in your head and there's been no growth, that there is going to be growth coming up in the future. Right now, you're not moving anywhere, right? Six of Swords in the, in the reverse is like, I, I need to learn these lessons before I go. I'm stuck here. Yeah. So you feel a little bit stuck in the mud right now. Let's take a look here. <clears throat> Release from toxicity. Mm. My friend. I'm sorry about that. Empress in reverse. I don't like it when it comes up. It doesn't give me good energy. Maybe because I'm a Taurus, but... The, the energy of the Empress is, you know, all hair, nails, and skin, and no personality, no balance, not connected to the universe, really selfish, all about self. If this person has children, they have no interest in raising those kids. This person's disconnected from self. They like to present themselves to everyone like they have it all together, but they really don't. And um, I feel like that may be someone that you're dealing with in your life right now. We have the seven, the, the chariot, which is a seven. I don't know. When I see the chariot, I always see this, say the seven. And I'm not sure why I do. But um, I feel like with the chariot in reverse that you're kind of stuck where you are right now. You're stuck in this overthinking mode, knowing something better is coming. Some of you might be stuck in a relationship with a feminine that is very detached from you, detached from the children. Um, I feel as though... With the um, the devil in reverse, I feel as though you um, really need to release yourself from this toxicity here. And I feel that that's coming soon, very soon. Because in the recent past, you feel stuck, like you can't move, that you're not growing. But going forward, just a, a little bit forward from that tells me that there is a release of fear, release of toxicity, release of whatever it is that you've been doing in a repetitive motion or someone you've been stuck to, you're going to be able to get released from. Now, the seven... Um, the, the seven, the chariot, um, when it's in the reverse is about really not moving anywhere. You want to go, but you can't. This sounds like a maybe the end of a relationship, maybe divorces on the table. Um, I feel like you're dealing um, 
with a feminine, if you are feminine or masculine, you're dealing with a feminine um, who is really into themselves and not really uh, has their eye off the ball. Therefore, you have to be watching everything. Yeah. So if there are kids involved, that means you probably are home with the kids most and this person is going out doing whatever they want for themselves. I feel like it's going to get better from here, though. I feel like you're making a decision. Yeah, two of swords in the reverse is the decision. You're putting down the swords and making a decision to move forward here and release yourself from this toxicity. Yeah, I think you knew this for a long time that you needed to let this go. It wasn't going anywhere. The chariot in reverse isn't going anywhere. There's no victory here. It's not going anywhere with this empress in reverse, Cancer. Yeah. Starting to lose hope. Yeah, you lost hope in this. In this, I, I feel like it's a traditional marriage. So I feel like there is going to be some sort of uh, divorce. I feel like things aren't working out here because of the empress in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse, um, I feel as though that's the traditional marriage or the traditional thoughts of religion, something like that. It's like, okay, but you know, the Bible says I shouldn't get a divorce, but I need to do this. It's not good for my health. I'm losing hope. It's toxic. I need to get out of the toxicity. And uh, Cancer, you're right there at the center of your reading, right? It's all about you. It's all about you feeling as though you're stuck in the middle of all of this. It Okay, Charlie just showed me someone trying to walk through tar. It feels like you're trying to walk through sludge or tar or deep mud. Uh, you're walking slowly and I feel you're exhausted from so much exertion for such little prize, right? For such little, uh, little reward. Yeah, I feel like you might be losing, losing uh, hope in this situation. But I feel as though if you decide to let go of this toxicity and heal, that it is going to move forward. There you go. Letting go of the toxicity, right? It's time to close this chapter. For some of you, you could be in separation for years and years and not yet divorced. There we go. It's saying this is over. This person is not for you. It is going to move forward as long as you can close the chapter. And closing the chapter is not like closing a cycle. Closing the chapter is, you know, um, closing the book, burning the book, burying the book. It's like done. Yeah, you're never going back here. You learned the karmic lessons. This um, <clears throat> empress in reverse was sent to you to teach you lessons. And I feel like huh, you learned because I think now you're starting to... Um, you're starting to um, manifest the things that you want. Someone taught you about manifestation. Or maybe you learned it all on your own because you're, you're that way, Cancer. You're smart. You're resourceful. You're good in business. All right. Here we go, Leo. This is for you. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Leo. Ooh. Cards are popping. Leo. As soon as I say Leo, here we go. All right. We'll do that. Stick it out. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, this is your sneak peek for the week. Thank you for joining me. Leo, if you're interested in a reading, you can uh, a personal reading, please look down below. In the description, you will see whatever you need there. There's a link to Wizio. All right, what do we got here? Leo. For some of you, you're keeping it under wraps that there is a cycle coming up that's closing. I think it's a cycle of marriage. I feel it's a cycle of marriage with someone who is masquerading as the empress. Who's the empress in reverse? Well, she's someone who's not necessarily into you. She's into self. She's someone who, you know, possesses all of the keys that she needs in order to be the empress in the upright, but she chooses to be selfish. She chooses to not be connected to other people. She chooses to use marriage. She chooses to use traditional marriage as a way to get what she wants from you, Leo. The uh, empress is Taurus and um, Libra. When she's in the reverse, she's way out of balance. And um, I feel as though that this has, this concerns some sort of a union or traditional marriage that's ending. I feel like we see it right here. Yeah, 
marriage didn't work out for you. If you are with this Empress in reverse, if she has children, she's not interested in raising them. She's not a great mother. She's disconnected. And the thing is, is that she can't connect to them if she can't connect to self. And she's not connected to self when she's in the reverse. You're not telling anybody, though. That's what's in the moon energy. The moon energy here is Pisces and Cancer. You could be moving or thinking about moving. But you need to settle the finances first. I feel like you know what's in the dark. You know the secrets, but you have your back to it. You have a knowing. Yep, that's Pisces. The High Priestess has a knowing. The High Priestess is someone who um, has a knowing of the things of, of Earth and of the universe. You know, she knows the things above. She knows the things below. I feel as though something is going to be birthed brand new here. Once the secrets come out, I feel like you knew intuitively that you had to close this cycle, this marriage for some of you. Um, uh, for some of you, you may have left the church, the Hierophants in reverse. For some of you, you um, no longer believe in the teachings of the church or you no longer believe in the teachings of the person you were with. Um, this person could have... Uh, been keeping you um, where they wanted to keep you for a material reason. Um, I feel like you're very defensive with this um, Empress in reverse. I feel like this person kind of attacks you and I, f I feel like this person is someone that um, you would rather just keep moving. Yeah, you want to just forget about this person. I feel like this person keeps drawing you back with sex though. Yeah, and that's the thing. I think they keep drawing you back with their, with the passion because this this guy is. Although he's in very much in defense mode. Look, he's got the one wand over his shoulder, right? So he is defensive. He knows that this empress is trying to um, keep him stuck. Yeah, keep you stuck. There's your card, Leo, and it's in the reverse. We've got the sun in the reverse. I feel like healing is going on here because there, you've been working a lot trying to get the finances balanced because there is something that's breaking here, and I'm sorry that you're going through that. I feel as though that the sun is in reverse because there's no growth here left with the empress. It's become a very defensive situation, and uh, the four of swords tells me that you, you two haven't been talking. You've been trying to heal yourself spiritually. Because when all of this comes out, crap's going to hit the fan. People are going to know exactly what went on. You feel betrayed, I feel. Yeah, it was very toxic. That's what it is. I feel that you're scared to let it go. You feel as though you'll never heal. I feel as though you, you feel as though maybe you'll never heal. But the higher self is telling you it's going to work. Leo, I think it's time for this is these these cards are saying it's time for you to leave a toxic situation where there's no growth. You're feeling defensive with an empress in reverse. For some of you, you may have left a, a religious practice, close the door on it. For some of you, this is a traditional marriage that's done. Close the door. I'm gonna give you your part, you give me my part, and we're out of here. Yeah. And this is just about time for you to transform. So everything, of course, is happening right on time. Absolutely it is. Always, always the universe has it all together. Virgo, this is for you. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you for clicking here, Virgo. Thanks for clicking here today. If you're interested in a private reading, please look below. There's a link to Wizio. And uh, it is safe for you to sign up there. I will never approach you and ask you if you want a reading. You're only going to hear it here and how to get to me if you want a reading. All right, here we go. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is for Virgo. Virgo. We've got the queen. The queen is on her head. The queen of swords. Virgo, we have um, ooh, a reunion with someone. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. That's the boomerang for me. Someone who walked away is now coming back. Someone realized that um, maybe... 
oh no, it's you realizing that the eight isn't enough, the eight cups isn't enough. This, I feel the situation you're trying to walk away from is quite toxic. I feel as though you feel someone who you trusted is about to, is about to, um, Yeah, you're trying to close the cycle. Someone has come back to you. I feel like this has been going on and on is what I feel, okay? So what I feel is we, we've got the emperor here. The emperor is in the upright. The emperor is someone who it looks like they're leaving you. Um, they're, they're in the future. I feel like this person is someone that you feel has stabbed you in the back or um, someone who has lied to you. This might be a person who's going through a cycle with you that's slamming doors, not talking, harsh words, silent treatment, that kind of thing. This cycle is about to end, isn't quite there, but you've got the last sword. There we go. So I feel like you are about to bring this to an end. You could be a feminine, don't have to be. But the queen in reverse tells me that there's a lot of harsh words going on here, a lot of name calling, um, a lot of yeah, door slamming. I feel as though the emperor is trying to avoid you. Um, I feel like the emperor is trying to um, um, avoid you until this whole thing is over. That's what Charlie just said, until this whole thing is over. So the Three of Cups tells me that maybe um, there is a reunion on the books with someone that walked away from you, and this person now intends on coming back. I don't think it's the Emperor, though. Okay, it's an opportunity that's been traveling for a long time toward you, Virgo. Or this could quite definitely be you taking this to someone else. I feel as though... <clears throat> I feel as though the partnership with the Emperor is over. I feel like you feel you did all the heavy lifting and um, you're no longer down with that. I also see that there's four pentacles here. I feel like you and the Emperor um, are not talking. It's silence. You're not sharing. There's no, no things here that indicate that you have any love left for this person. I feel like this partnership is over. I feel like it's breaking apart because it never really began, you understand. And it doesn't matter if you're married for 100 years. Some people, uh, not some people, all people, all of us, me included, we can only love um, another based on how deeply we love ourselves. So we might have a situation here, Virgo, where you may need to do some self-care. Because I don't think you understand the depth at which you could love if you actually practice the self-care. I feel like um, going over all the details, the Knight of Pentacles is moving very slow. And um, I feel as though you're being a little bit, um, how can I say? Charlie, what's the word? No. I feel as though you are being um, uh, frivolous with your energy. Um, is frivolous the right word? Reckless. Okay. <laughs> All right. It really is reckless, Charlie says. It's reckless energy, which tells me that you're engaging in third party here. Um, it's it's a reunion, yeah, because this person is, is coming back with the, the boomerang card here, but I feel as though that you're being reckless with your energy, and so this is creating third party energy here. And... Um, Reckless with your passionate energy. Yeah. And I feel as though you're waiting for this to come forward and waiting for this to end, waiting for this emperor to get out of the way so you can have what you need. And until then, you're being really reckless with your passionate energy. Yeah. Third parties all over the place, I think. So this may be, um, if it's a relationship that is broken up, um, it may be need to be officially broken up uh, in law. But I feel as though somebody is stepping out. It could be a separation that's going on here. Somebody's stepping out with someone that they've been waiting on for a long time. And I feel like you've been lying to the emperor about it. You haven't, you haven't been honest with this emperor. Yeah. I feel as though the Seven of Swords is here to say there's a lot of lies and deceit going on here, that you're lying about these third parties. No, I wasn't with anyone. No, I wasn't with anyone. You're lying about it. I feel like when the Emperor comes at you and says, okay, then fine. You know, if that's what you're going to do, you're going to lie. Here we go. Three three of, of Pentacles in reverse. Let's just break this down for what it is. And I think it, um, it uh, makes you very defensive. I feel as though... Um, 
one and nine is ten. The cycle's about to close here. Because there is no love left here. I think there was a time um, that there that there was balance here, but it's not now. Um, something came to light. Smack talking. Virgo, someone is talking behind your back. I feel like you don't care. You have no regrets. I feel like you've decided you're not going to... Um, you're not going to think about it anymore. You're not going to overthink it. I feel like you're. it's a marriage that you're getting out of here. And I feel like that's where it's at. I feel like you are um, sorry that it didn't work out. I feel like there is a third party here and you just need to heal. I think that's what's coming up for you this week. Virgo. Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Libra, this is your sneak peek for this week. Thank you for clicking here. I do appreciate you if you're interested in a personal reading. Please look below. There is a link in the description. All right, just follow the directions there. Here we go, Libra. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me what's coming up for Libra this week. This is your sneak peek for the week, Libra. There you are, and you're in the reverse. We've got the Emperor here. Just taking a sip of tea. And we've got here the Six of Pentacles. We've got the Page of Cups. We've got the Justice card in the reverse. You're not having any, any balance right now. Your finances are being affected. Page of Cups. You may be experiencing a hit in the finances. There could be something that's going on that's legal for some of you that is affecting the finances. And up till now, you may have been keeping up. I feel like in the future, it gets better, though. I feel as though you're tired of being the beggar. That's what I think. The Six of Pentacles is about reciprocity and people helping you. And it's great when you have people helping you. But I think you're tired of asking for help all the time. And it's this reason that you're needing to ask for help because justice is in the reverse. There's no justice here. I think there's been a situation or a situation will happen this week where you're going to find that you also don't have any justice in um, love. But understand, please, that the love that you want justice in is only is only at, this, at the energy of a page. Pages really don't know how to love. And this may be why you're in the reverse. Maybe it's you that doesn't know how to love, but it definitely could be someone else. Take it as it resonates. I feel like there is something that you love or someone that you love. I feel like... Yeah, it's a little love. That's what Charlie said. It's a little love. It's very small. I feel like you really just want to embark on this. I feel like you want to move forward, want to, um, want to make money, balance your finances. I feel like you are an emperor in training. I feel like that's coming up in your, in your future. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which tells me that, that um, if this emperor is you, the one taking charge, that you have had a financial issue for a while because it's ten pentacles. I also feel like this could be a long-term relationship that is no longer. I feel like you don't want to wait anymore, that it's time for you to make a home or be home. I feel like you are single and you don't want to be, but the truth is, is that you do have love for a queen that you see possibly as being toxic yeah okay that queen is in reverse and uh, the um devil showed up there it could also be a capricorn um let's take a look here six of pentacles yeah i feel like you've been in a, in a place unfortunately where you've had to ask for help I feel like whoever it is that's helping you doesn't mind, but I feel like you just don't feel good about that. So I feel like you've made a decision. The decision is that... I've got eight wands here. 
communication. I feel like you want to communicate with someone, but it doesn't go well. I feel like this page, there's another page here indicating that passion is also at a minimum. Um, so I feel like because we have the, the page of wands in reverse, it's telling me you're having no justice in love or passion. No justice in going on this path in passion. I feel like maybe you're being a little reckless with your sexual energy. Um, doesn't have to be. It could be your other person. Um, but um, if you're in a thing with someone else, but I feel as though that you are feeling very defensive with an energy that could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Money is not your friend right now. I feel like you're defensive about your finances. Someone's trying to help you. But I think you're making a decision. And the decision is, I feel like this, um, this page of cups here is telling me that you don't love yourself enough and that's why you're in the reverse. It's time for some, uh, some self-care. Because although you have some great people around you who tend to help you with your finances, you don't want that anymore. You've made the decision that you need to be more responsible with your energy. It's time to be a little more um, open, a little more vulnerable. I feel like you're going to be honest with those who are helping you about the decisions you've made to move forward. I feel like you're not happy that you feel like you'll never get your seven of cups. I'm sorry, your nine of cups. And I feel like, yeah, there might be there might be someone you offered your cup to who decided they didn't want it. Yeah, I'm sorry if that happened to you. Um, this this. Um, Seven of Pentacles, uh, sorry, Seven of Wands is telling me that um, you are guarded up, but you do have the passion, enough passion to move forward and make this, make this come true, this financial situation that you want to balance. I feel like you have it in you, Libra, um, but I feel as though right now you're having a hard time. You can't see it. No. I think that you're kind of mourning maybe over a lost relationship or unrequited love, like somebody you, you said you gave your emotions to and that person said, honestly, no thanks. I don't feel like you're my nine of cups. We do have um, a nine and one, which is 10 cups and that's in the reverse. So for some of you, you were married to this person and the family is in disintegration. Or for some of you, you're just having a hard time. As you're being honest with your family, they're, they're, um, not emotionally supporting you. Yeah. You might want to look into why that is. Yeah, I feel like you're not well. I feel like maybe your health is suffering right now. You could be unwell. Um, but you're definitely out of balance. For sure. I think this week is the week that you realize you're out of balance and you take charge of whatever it is you need to take charge of in order to move forward. All right, Scorpio, here we are with you, my lovely, beautiful, psychic Scorpios, sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. Scorpio, here is your sneak peek for this week. Uh, we do have um, readings that are available. I was just going to say I do have readings that are available. Please look in the description below if you're interested in booking with me. I do have just a few spots left over on Wizio for now. All right, here we go, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. This is energy for this week, Scorpio. Sneak peek for this week. Scorpio, tell me about it. Tell me about it, Scorpio. All right, we have the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Something has come to light. We have the Seven of Cups, we have the Six of Cups, we have the Justice card and the Two of Pentacles. Scorpio, I think right now you're barely keeping your balance because of something that's going on that could be legal. You're trying to get your balance, but I think that right now you're just kind of showing everyone you're in balance. When I see this particular depiction, it's because there is um, a financial impact, a really large one. I feel as though you're trying to make everyone think that everything's fine because look, you got all the balls in the air, but you're balanced. Yeah, you're balanced on one foot here. You're trying to show your Facebook face to everyone else. It's okay. I'm good. I got it. I'm going to catch this pentacle when it falls. I won't have one pentacle yet, but 
right now we have two pentacles and it could be finances that are especially hard for you right now you need direction yeah i feel like you're trying to balance it all that's what it is these two cards are cards of balance right you're trying to balance it all and you're like on the edge yeah i feel as though you're feeling overwhelmed by some sort of pardon me a connection that you feel could be um a soulmate or a deep soul connection this reminds me of nostalgic love and i feel like um you need to have justice with this i feel like there is someone you're thinking about someone who's either in the background or maybe in the foreground but i feel like this person is someone you get along with Someone who, when they're in your energy and you're in theirs, everything is great. It all works out. It's all even. She's got three cups. He's got three cups. I think you want to give reciprocity to this person as well. I feel like the whole thing is making you feel overwhelmed. We've got the seven of cups here. You're feeling emotionally overwhelmed at how this situation is, is breaking open. I think that the legal thing has got you tied up in your finances. I feel like you might be watching someone. Um, and maybe the reason that you haven't come forward to tell them how you feel is because right now you are the emperor in reverse. Um, does, you don't have to be an Aries to be an emperor. But if you don't know who the emperor is, please look it up. He's the ruler of the empire. I feel like you're being released from some sort of a toxic love situation. And that's why your energy could be, yeah, in the reverse emperor someone who is working from ego speaking from ego feels has to put on a face or a show for everyone else so you do that by huffing and puffing and being the emperor in the reverse scorpio let's take a look you also could have aries in your chart you could have libra in your chart Secrets are coming to the surface about a love relationship and you don't care. Your back's to it all. Yeah, there is some regret here for sure, Scorpio. The reason you're feeling overwhelmed emotionally is because all this stuff is about to come to the surface. There are going to be some, some questions asked and they're going to demand answers. I feel like what's coming to the surface is that you are finally coming clean about how you feel about this person that you feel is your soulmate. Yeah, you need the justice and love here with this person. I feel like you're waiting to move, to go forward. Um, I feel like you have... Um, yeah, looking, you know, looking too far back in the past, I feel like I feel like you keep going over the situation and how it broke down. Um, I think that this is telling me here that there is some regret about the finances and how they were impacted that had it been done another way, it might have been different. I feel as though that um, whomever is the person who is the soulmate or this nostalgic love here, this could also be children for some of you. Um, I feel as though that um, you're trying to keep it hidden from this person. Yeah, that you want to be able to bring it out when you want to bring it out. You want to be honest with this person when the time is right. I think you're taking in some um, energy. I think you have the energy of love for this person. And that's the only thing that I, it seems to keep you balanced is the is knowing that there is a person out there, a soulmate, who really does have your back. I feel like that energy balances you knowing that you're in love with this person. You do get your balance, though. Yeah. This person, uh, your person that you're going towards could be Sagittarius, or you could have Sag in your um, in your chart prominently in the big three. I feel like you're rushing in. You're rushing in because you are desperately in love with this person, and you need this victory. You need this justice here. I feel as though you are... Um, I feel like you might have had about a bad health but are feeling better. I feel like you're feeling the more, most balanced that you've ever felt. I feel as though you have a regret. And the regret is, is that you didn't get in balance and see all of this for what it was sooner. But now I feel like the Knight of Swords is here and it's, it's you just deciding in a moment's notice, possibly at night, um, at a moment's notice, I got to tell the truth. I got to tell this soulmate the truth. 
somebody's going to reveal their love to the empress. There we go. So the person who is the object of your affection could be Taurus or Libra. Doesn't have to be, but the Empress is someone who is who is quite balanced in her energy. Someone who really doesn't need you but might want you. And uh, I feel like you have decided you need to move forward quickly in order to balance all of this out. You have a big regret that you did not um, go to the Empress. Yeah. The thing is, is that the Empress has her back to you, so she's not looking at any of these things that are happening, but know that she is also someone who is kind of psychic and has a knowing, right? And um, she does realize that there is going to be a point in time when you decide to get on the bull, whatever that is, <laughs> and race on over. Yeah, that could be this week for you, Scorpio. I feel like you're dealing with a financial impact here, and that might be the block you're dealing with. You need to drop that burden in order to be able to move forward. I feel like once you do drop the burden, you are going to move forward with passion because this person, you feel, is good in a partnership. Well, look at you, Scorpio. All right, Sagittarius, here we are. My Sagittarius. Here we go. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is your sneak peek for this week's Sag. Please stop watching Tarot for Just Your Sun Sign. There is a link up in the banner. It is a, a website I am not affiliated with, but please stop watching Tarot Just for Your Sun Sign. Please go find out what kind of Sagittarius you are, and that only comes up when you know extensively about your moon and your rising. And what those mean, there's all kinds of in internet stuff out there. Um, but uh, that source that I gave you above that I'm not affiliated with is the place I go. All right, here we go. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What is your sneak peek for this week's Sag? Remember, these are all general readings. This may or may not be on your timeline. This may or may not be your reading. Woo, Sag, out the gate. We got communication. Okay, somebody who broke your heart. Interesting. Here we are. Communication. Someone is feeling a lot less defensive than they were. But this person also feels like they've missed an opportunity with you, Sag. I don't think you've spoken to this person in a while. This person is terrified to come forward. They, they're, they're worried. They're worried as though they've missed an opportunity with you. Because I feel as though um, with the Four of Cups here, it tells me of unrequited love. It tells me that somebody... Um, that somebody offered you something that you decided wasn't for you. And I think it is emotion. Someone poured out their emotion to you here. And at the time, you said, no, I'm good, thanks. Yeah. And now you know you've made the wrong decision and it is haunting you. Having a hard time sleeping? I feel like you want to communicate I feel like you want to communicate because you're feeling far less defensive about the whole situation than you were. This person could have broken your heart or possibly you broke theirs. Let's find out what's happening this week. Tell me about this communication. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. This is messages going backward and forward, you know, from person to person. And I feel it's about love, someone who you love deeply, someone who deeply loves you. When I see the four of wands, it's like a mirror, right? Whatever, whatever you want, wants you. Yeah. Someone who feels the same as you do about this situation. I feel if you do reach out to whomever you've clicked here for today, Sag, I feel like if you reach out to that person, they will be responsive. I feel like this whole situation has become way less um, defensive than it was. This person is working on that fourth cup, on making it up to you. 
Your person could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Don't have to be, but this person is in charge of their kingdom. This person is financially balanced. This queen, though, is the person who is in predominantly in feminine energy. She is the multitasking queen. She will help you. She will help anybody. Animals, people. She'll paint your house and watch your kids and do whatever she can do in order to spread love. This could be feminine or masculine, of course. We've got the um, the Ten of Wands in reverse. I feel like there is a cycle that needs to be closed here because it is giving anxiety. It's lending anxiety to the situation without closing this chapter, without unloading the burdens. I feel like there is anxiety here. Someone is constantly thinking and overthinking and and um, not able to sleep at night. I feel like you feel that this person is your person, that they are either a deep soul connection or they could be a twin flame connection because of the four of wands. This person, I feel, has intention to marry you um, or at least um, bring you into their world for uh, so they can balance energy with you, passionate energy. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like your person, uh, Sagittarius, is going through a financial impact here. I feel like this person is right now living in frustration, living from ego. They're not really paying attention to this, this connection here. Um, they may come in and out for passion. I feel like the money situation is about to get better if that's you, Sag. I feel like um, that finances have really been impacted for you. And it's because of a cycle that you left open that hadn't been closed. I feel like it's another energy. So I feel like you need to close a cycle with another energy if you ever expect this to come to fruition. I feel like you are in communication with this person. I feel as though there is messages going back and forth here. So I don't think there's silence here. Yeah, I feel like there's some sort of a partnership, Sag, that you're in or were in and you needed to bring that to an end. I feel like you were doing all the heavy lifting in that relationship and um, that it's time to break it down. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like nobody's working on the situation anymore. And um, I feel, well, we've got three and two is five, that maybe there is a silent treatment. You're not speaking to the other person. I feel like there is someone that's in your life right now who is giving you reciprocity in passion. Um, I feel like you're also giving reciprocity in passion. You're giving and getting. Um, but I feel as though this person has not yet settled with you. They're in and out. Yeah, they're in and out of your life. They've not settled on you. They've not decided that you're the one. They're in the midst of some sort of a partnership, business, whatever this means to you, this three. Um, they're in some sort of a situation which involves possibly a third party, which could be work or another person or a job or whatever. Um, and I feel like somebody is really kind of working so hard for very little. Yeah. I feel like you two could be good in partnership. But right now, I feel like if it is this energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this person is not letting you in. No, they're not letting you in. They 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 don't think that you have anything to offer in a partnership where it comes to business. Interesting. This opportunity that this person wants to have with you is still stuck. Because this person has this opportunity for you, but it's not growing. There's no growth here. Yeah, we have the sun in reverse. There's no growth here. The situation is about to transform. I think you're working too much, Sag. I think you need to, if you can, rest. Yeah, I think you're working too much and that's why it's impacting your finances. Instead of taking, you know, an hour or two or a day off, maybe you need to take two or three in a row. But I don't think you will because I saw the queen standing up right there. All right, here we go, Capricorn. This is you, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please help us with energy for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is your sneak peek for this week, Cappies. 
Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay. Capricorn, you're waiting and thinking. You're not getting reciprocity from this situation anymore. Yeah. I think you went from being the giver or the person who is sharing to the person who's no longer sharing. We've got the Five of Cups. You're no longer sharing. I feel like there's regret that there's no sharing. Either you're not sharing with someone or someone's not sharing with you. But I feel that the regret You may want to move on to a different relationship, Capricorn. I feel like you've been thinking about it, trying to... Okay, yep. Thank you, Charlie. Just gave me... Um, Tracy Chapman, give me one reason. Give me one reason to stay here, and I'll turn right back around. And I think you're waiting for someone to give you a reason to, to act in reciprocity again because I don't think you're getting it right now and that's what you're thinking about. You're waiting to see what's going to happen, to see what might come of it, but I don't think you're happy where you are, regretfully so. I don't think you're happy where you are. I think that you thought at some, t at some point this might turn to marriage, but I feel as though you are not feeling it. No, you're in indecision here. So as you sit in the in the hanged man energy, I think you're thinking about making a sacrifice, but we have the five of wands here and that tells me that you're in indecision. Your eyes are covered, you're kind of just batting out at anything to see what falls. I feel like that's turned into no reciprocity. I feel like there is a financial issue here that's really got you on the ropes. Um We have the Seven of Pentacles in the, in the near past, which tells me that you're waiting to have a new start, but you're in indecision. I feel like this is, it feels like someone who wants to leave a relationship they're unhappy in, but they can't because of the finances. I think you might be relying on someone for money, Capricorn. I feel like you want to have a brand new love. I feel like the Page of Pentacles is here. This this love that you're offering, though, is very small. It's of the page. Yeah. I feel as though um, that you feel as though the person that you're with no longer has feelings for you. I feel as though you feel that it is time to walk away emotionally, or maybe you have walked away emotionally. You're thinking about walking away from this connection. Yeah. It's no, it's no longer fulfilling you. This person is not giving you the love treatment that they used to. And understand that the Page of Cups is a very little bit of love, right? It's, it's not deep love. And when I see the Page of Cups coming up in a reading that is about love, to me it's like you don't love yourself enough, therefore it only turns into sex. It turns into passionate moments because you don't love yourself enough or deep enough. You have not done the work, Capricorn. For If you're connecting with this reading, you have not done the work. There is a card that is sticking out of the deck looking at me here, so I thought I would um, <clears throat> pull that out as well. I feel like you're not using your intuition. You may walk away, but you won't because of the money, Capricorn. Um, I feel like you can't support yourself if you walk away. This person might carry most of the finances. You're in yourself, in your feels. I feel like this Five of Wands is indecision, fighting in within self about, am I going to walk away from love? I think eventually you are because you realize that this person is only giving you sex and that they really aren't in love with you. Now, understand that this page of cups could be you or your person. This person may hate themselves. They may not love themselves enough that they can love you, but neither one of you is using your intuition. Yeah. And I think that secrets might be coming to the surface about this. You might be um, trying to get your love somewhere else. Or maybe your person is. That's what's coming up for you this week for some of you, Capricorn. Okay, Aquarius. Here we are. Sun, moon, rising. Venus and Jupiter. 
I don't know why I turned those. Charlie just said. It's a new thing of his. Turn the deck. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Aquarius, if you're interested in having a reading, please go down below. In the description, you will see a link to Wizio. All right. What have we got here? We have the Queen of Swords, who is in the upright. We have the Two of Pentacles. In the upright, we have the Knight of Cups in the upright, and we have the Nine of Cups in the upright. Aquarius, I feel that you know where your Nine of Cups is, and I think that you want to go there. But I feel as though, yeah, and this seems to be kind of a thing that's coming up in these readings today. I feel as though it's a financial impact that you're dealing with. I feel like you love money. And that, of course, who doesn't, right? We all need it to live. We all need it. But I feel as though that someone has been breadcrumbing you in love or you've been breadcrumbing someone else. So the Two of Pentacles can be about money energy. But when it comes up next to the Knight of Cups, I feel like you're offering very little in terms of love to someone and you expect to get the big payout, Aquarius. You can't offer barely any of yourself, unbalanced, no finances, you know, barely keeping balance. You can't you can't go at love like that because I feel like you want the bigger payoff for giving uh, very little energy. That's what it feels like here. We have the Queen of Swords, who is Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. The Queen of Swords, to me, is someone who is a divorcee. For some of you, you could be divorced or be divorcing someone. But I feel like whatever's going on in the future, you're kind of keeping it all under wraps. Or someone might be breadcrumbing you. Like, take it as it resonates, right? It could be flipped. Um, someone could be breadcrumbing you in love, and you want the nine cups. And so you're, you've are you come from a place of divorce. You're not doing this rodeo again. Rodeo. <laughs> yeah, you've been at this rodeo before. You know how this thing ends. So there is someone who has gone through divorce and, in effect, um, fallen out of love, I feel. Yeah, I feel like not only is it love that you're offering, I feel like it's a two of, two of Pentacles kind of love that you're offering. I feel like you don't love yourself enough, Aquarius. I feel like there is the Two of Cups, which is in the reverse, which tells me that maybe you had a divorce and now you're, you're uh, no longer in love with the person you were in love with. But I feel like you equate sex with intimacy and those are two very separate things. Intimacy is not sex and sex is not intimacy. Um, intimacy are the intimate things you do or say to someone. It's the trust. It's the love. It's the cuddles. It's the, it's everything minus this. But I feel like you have kind of put them all into one bottle and mixed them all up and said, you know what? I feel like, yeah, I feel like you are offering someone um, passion, but not necessarily love. You're protecting or guarding your love. I feel like you just are done and over it. I feel like you're over it. You want the Nine of Cups. You're headed straight for it. It seems like this person's determined and knows where to go. So for some of you, you could be having car problems and can't get to the place that you want to go. I feel like I'm speaking to a single Aquarius, someone who is single, maybe because of divorce. I feel as though you are not able to move forward um, because the communication has been shoddy and you're unsure. Once you're sure you will you will move forward, I feel like it's the the person that you think is your person. I don't think they are. I'm seeing five swords here. I'm seeing like there's four and five. Somebody is trying to heal, coming out of a situation that maybe was dealing with someone who was Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, someone who was acting in their ego energy. This could be you or it could be someone else. But I feel like your energy is right here in the Five of Swords. Now, let's just go over this. Someone is breadcrumbing you in love, quite possibly. Um, I feel like when they breadcrumb you in love, you go in for the passion because you equate intimacy with passion and I feel as though you see that the nine of cups are in the distance and you want to charge out that way 
but I think you're bulldozing it. And that's what I see by the one sword that this knight is holding and moving quickly and the four of swords here. I feel like you're going to bulldoze it and say, hey, this is the way it's going to go down. You're mine. This is this. This is this. I feel like you want to be in charge of the whole thing. And I feel like people see you as this sometimes. They see you as someone who is an ego, who is making decisions for self, who doesn't really care what's going on in the kingdom. And I feel like it is equating to you getting passion but no love yeah so what do i think is happening this week for you i feel like you are either having car trouble and can't move or possibly you just can't go to the nine of cups situation at this time i feel like you can't move forward in love right now because you don't love yourself enough can't move forward in love because you don't love yourself enough yeah, I think everything, this is your issue here this week. You have to realize that just because you give your passion to someone, it doesn't mean that they're in love with you. Yeah, that might be something that you learn this week. All right, Pisces, my two fishes friends, this is your sneak peek for the week. Pisces, how are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. My two fishes friends, I am two fishes in my moon sign. If you are interested in having a reading with me, please look below. It's in the description. You don't need to go over to Wizio. It is a safe place for you to book. All right, here we go. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter. Please know I'm running about a 10 day turnaround time. So if you're not the person who's going to wait, then you probably shouldn't book. All right, Pisces, here we go. We have the Hermit, someone who's been spending a lot of time alone. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. There you are, right? King of Cups is going to get some justice this week. Whether you're feminine or masculine, I see the king as being predominantly masculine, but whether you're feminine or masculine, you're on the table here. I feel like you could be someone who is in water... Uh, energy. If it's not in your sun sign, it's in your moon or rising. And um, you also could have uh, air there, Libra. Ultimately, I think what's going on here is it's time for you to get some justice and love. Yeah. I feel like someone who is coming from a broken home. Someone who might be coming from divorce, separation. I feel like someone's been up in their head. Could be you, could be them. Someone wants to come forward and balance this love with you. I feel like you're waiting for it. I feel like intuitively you know what's going on. I feel like you're balanced and you're bracing for impact. That's what Charlie just said, bracing for impact. Okay. This king is coming forward after having had um, a family failure. That's what I'm going to call it. Yeah. Yeah. The family is now broken down. I feel like there is a separation going on here. There was a third party situation. Your person, the person that you were married to, you could have been the person who was cheating. Um, I feel with the, the three of cups in reverse, to me, I feel as though you are... Waiting, feeling justified, balanced, about ending a third party. And I feel like the third party that you could have ended, possibly, is with someone who may have been... Who may have been cheating with someone else. So that's where the third party ends. Once this is over, though, Pisces, once this is over, this third party, I feel as though the Wheel of Fortune kicks in. Now, you know that fortunate things are coming. We know that. Divine timing is here. Divine timing is here for this, for this energy to go off. You've been waiting on this. You feel balanced. You have a knowing, I feel. You have a knowing that um, something, some secrets are coming out. Yeah, that this king is going to come forward, or maybe you are the king, that is going to come forward with a bunch of secrets and tell you, look, this person was cheating on me. I'm getting a divorce. I'm in separation right now. So somebody could be coming forward who is in separation. Yep, uh, the, the justice card in the upright tells me it could be in the, in the law courts, right? And um, that things are about to break down. 
I feel like there is a king that wants to come forward and uh, have this reunion, but they can't. they got to wait for the divine timing. And it's not quite here. I feel like it could be this week for some of you. Some of you won't be. But I feel like the things as they move forward are going to confuse you because things are about to get so crazy good that you're going to question it. You're going to be up in your head, Pisces. You're going to be like, what? What? <laughs> really? Yeah. You have unfinished business with someone here. Someone who has recently become single or is ready to become single. This person has been up in their head about you for a while. And I feel like what's the, um, the unfinished business here is this person realizes now. I think the realization is in the heart up there. It's a realization of love. And I feel like the secret's coming out. This person is about to tell you that they think that you are their soulmate. I feel like somebody's become recently single or is separated, not yet single. But I feel like either way, um, you Pisces are looking pretty good. I feel like you, you are abundant. You are single. I feel as though you have been waiting on this unfinished business to come together. Look, it's divine time. It's time for this unfinished business, for this to come together and for you all to have a conversation of sorts. But know that you're like, what the? <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're going to feel kind of like arguing with yourself. Is this real? Is this not real? There it is. The Ace of Swords. Wow. And the Ace of Pentacles. <gasps> wow, wow, wow. Look at that. So I feel like that's what's coming at you. New conversation, abundance out the wazoo. And uh, we've got something that has ended. So something can begin. We've got good energy in the sun. There's your king. Okay. So this is your soulmate. Yeah, they could be Libra. They could be... Um... Oh, wait, no, this is another king. Oh, another king. There could be another king here. So we could have two kings, two kings that are looking at coming together in love. We could have um, a feminine who has to choose between two kings. Yeah, I think you're going on a path in passion, manifesting. You're getting let go of some sort of toxicity. You're getting let go of fear, let go of anxiety. I feel like the judgment card tells me it's a second time around. You know this person. You know who this person is. They could be the King of Cups or you could be the King of Cups. Let me know in the description below. But I feel as though what's going on here is that secrets are coming out about a family that is no longer. This person is in love with you. They've been cheated on. They've been hurt. They are about to become single and you have unfinished business with them. And the universe is saying that the Wheel of Fortune is here. Divine timing is now. This crap might go off the hook this week. <laughs> For some of you, for some of you, it might not be your timeline, but for some of you, you are going to um, get some sort of a visit this week because there is unfinished business. All right, Pisces, thanks for hanging in there. Thank you so much for coming here, for clicking here. I'm going to go for now so I can go out there and do more readings in the wild. I love you guys. Thanks for coming here. Bye-bye.